OpenAI and Anthropic are hiring engineers for a job that didn't exist three years ago, and they're paying them six figures to do something completely crazy. They're sending them to farms, to factories, to actual customer offices, because it turns out Building the world's most advanced AI isn't enough anymore. They need people who can actually explain it to people. Okay, so here's what's crazy. OpenAI and Anthropic are hiring engineers for a job that didn't exist three years ago. And I'm not exaggerating. This role literally emerged in 2024, 2025, and it's already become the most sought after position in AI. The title? Forward Deployed Engineer, or FDE. And here's the thing that makes this so bizarre. They're not asking these engineers to stay in San Francisco, sitting in fancy offices, building models in the cloud. No, they're literally sending them to farms, to factories, to actual customer offices, real locations with real dirt and real problems that have nothing to do with neural networks. Think about that for a second. The most advanced AI companies in the world, OpenAI, Anthropic, Cohere, they're all saying the same thing. We need engineers who can code and explain our AI to actual humans. Because here's the problem they discovered. Building incredible AI isn't enough anymore. Your AI could be revolutionary, but if nobody knows how to use it, it's worthless. This is the corporate irony that nobody's talking about. For years, we heard that AI would replace jobs, eliminate roles, make human input obsolete. But what actually happened? OpenAI and Anthropic realized their most valuable asset isn't the algorithm. It's the people who can translate that algorithm into real business value. And wait until you hear how many of these positions are actually being created. Job postings for forward-deployed engineer roles exploded by 800% between January and September 2025. That's not a trend. That's not a market adjustment. That's a full industry pivot happening in real time. Let me put this in perspective. Most tech roles see maybe a 10-20% increase year over year. Even hot positions like machine learning engineer might see 50-100% growth. But 800%? That's unprecedented. That's the entire tech industry saying we were wrong about how AI gets deployed and we need to fix it now. Here's where it gets even more intense. OpenAI established its forward deployed engineering team earlier this year, just months ago, and they're already planning to expand it to around 50 engineers by the end of 2025. That's massive for a specialized role. But Anthropic? They're going even harder. They're scaling their entire applied AI division, which includes forward deployed engineers, by 5x by year end. Think about that. If they had 20 people doing this work now, they're hiring 80 more. That's not gradual growth. That's an emergency scramble to grab talent before competitors do it. Cohere is doing the same thing. Every major AI company is competing for the same pool of engineers who have this very specific skill set. They can code, they understand business, and they can actually communicate with humans. That combination is rarer than you think. And here's the thing that should make you pay attention. Arnaud Fournier, who heads OpenAI's forward deployed engineering team for Europe in the Middle East, literally said that market demand for these roles has exceeded their expectations. They prepared for demand, but reality hit harder. They need more engineers than they thought. Now. But why? Why are these companies suddenly desperate for people to go sit in customer offices? Here's the reality check nobody wants to admit. Enterprise AI adoption is failing. Not completely, but in a major way. A Fortune 500 bank wants to implement AI? Great. But where do they start? How do they integrate it into existing systems? How do they measure ROI? How do they train their teams? They don't know. And OpenAI doesn't know either, because their customers are all different. A startup building AI native products needs completely different solutions than a multinational bank. A farmer needs different tool than a hospital. A manufacturing plant needs a different approach than a healthcare provider. 
You can't just ship the same AI solution to everyone and expect it to work. That's the gap. And that's where forward deployed engineers come in. They're not in some headquarters. They're embedded in the customer's organization, living there, working there, understanding the actual messy reality of how that business operates. According to Kat DeYoung, head of applied AI at Anthropic, and this is crucial, the needs of a Fortune 500 bank differ significantly from those of a startup building AI native products. So what's the solution? You embed your engineers inside these organizations. You have them understand the unique requirements, the constraints, the culture, the existing systems. Then you build customized AI solutions that actually work. This is called inside-out product exploration in the industry. And here's where it gets really interesting. Palantir pioneered this entire concept almost 20 years ago. Remember Palantir, the controversial data analytics company? Turns out, they weren't controversial because of their methods. They were controversial because of their clients. But their business model? That was genius. Palantir has forward-deployed engineers making up approximately 50% of their entire workforce, half their company. They embed people in customer operations, and those people don't just solve problems. They become part of the customer's team. Some of them stay there for years. And now? Now OpenAI, Anthropic, and every other AI company is copying this exact playbook because they finally understand what Palantir knew. The software is worthless if it doesn't deliver value to the end user. The only way to deliver that value is to have people who understand both the technology and the business side. But there's a case study that proves this actually works. OpenAI's Forward Deployed Engineering team recently collaborated with John Deere, yes, the farming equipment company, to develop AI tools that help farmers use fewer chemicals. And here's the result. They reduced pesticide spraying by 60% to 70%. Think about what that means. This isn't some theoretical improvement. This is farmers actually changing their operations, using less harmful chemicals, getting better results, saving money, and the AI is actually working. But here's what most people miss about this case study. This collaboration also feeds back into OpenAI's own research. Arnaud Fournier said something crucial. Through this, we gain insights into the real needs of clients across different industries and jointly conduct innovative experiments. These real-world insights, in turn, drive advancements in OpenAI's own research and product development. So what's happening here? The forward-deployed engineers aren't just solving customer problems, they're bringing real-world feedback that makes OpenAI's AI better. It's a feedback loop. Every deployment teaches them something, every customer interaction improves their models. This is the secret that OpenAI and Anthropic don't want the entire world talking about. Their competitive advantage isn't just their models anymore. It's their army of engineers embedded in customer organizations learning exactly how to make AI work in the real world. And they're using that knowledge to build better products. That's not just customer service. That's competitive intelligence. That's market research. That's product development all happening at the same time. And wait until you find out what this means for careers and the future of tech jobs. If you're a software engineer, listen carefully. The traditional career path you've been taught, go to Stanford, get recruited by Fang, write code in a fancy office, that's becoming obsolete. The new gold standard in 2025, go where the customers are, understand their problems, solve real issues, get paid handsomely for it. Here's why this matters. These positions pay six figures. Seriously. Forward-deployed engineers at top AI companies are commanding salaries that rival senior engineers at tech giants. Why? Because they're solving the hardest problem in AI right now, making it actually useful. But here's the catch. You can't just be a coder anymore. You need to be part engineer, part consultant, part problem solver, part communicator. You need to understand business. You need to travel. You need to work in customer environments. And you need to be comfortable not having all the answers right away. Anthropic is scaling their team 5x by year-end. OpenAI is hiring 50-plus engineers. Cohere is doing the same. 
every major AI company is competing for talent that has this exact skill set. And here's what really gets me. Palantir proved this model works 20 years ago. They made billions doing this. And now all the AI companies are following the blueprint, which means this isn't a temporary trend. This is the future of how AI gets deployed. The engineers who master this role, they'll have more job opportunities than they can handle. The ones who stay purely in research or isolated coding, they're going to find themselves left behind. So here's what you need to take away from this. AI companies finally figured out that building amazing technology is only half the battle. The other half is having people who can translate that technology into real value. Forward deployed engineers are becoming the most valuable assets in the AI industry. And this trend, it's just getting started. If you found this breakdown valuable, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I cover these industry shifts daily because this is where real opportunities are hiding. Not in the hype, but in the actual business models that are making companies billions. Thanks for watching AI Handbook. I'll see you in the next one.